Ben, 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 Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome, welcome everybody. It's a week late. It is a week late. But you know what? So we've had first birthday, Tom, but what about second birthday? Second birthday. Uh, yeah, you know, this is an exception. You're allowed, <laughs> this, you're allowed a second birthday this time. Hooray! Uh, normally, anyone that celebrates their birthday for more than one day, I think you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> but you're, you're a special boy, Ben. Yay. We're doing it. Um, and uh, we've got a very special treat. A very special <gasps> treat for you today, Ben. Because you've been such a good boy, Ben. Father Christmas. Actually, it wouldn't be Father Christmas. No. Ronald. <laughs> Ronald is with me. Ronald has got you a special gift, Ben. Oh, it's massive. It's massive, Ben. But it's not just an, a special gift. It's special gifts. <gasps> it's a gift with layers. Like like an onion. <laughs> like Shrek. Like, oh, is it going to make me cry? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I so, hate it. Here, you can hold on. On to your gift. Oh, oh. oh my god. It's heavy. It's, special, it's so heavy. It's a two-hander. Um, I don't often get two-handers. So there's layers. So layers. Every now and again, yeah. you're going to be allowed to un unlock a layer of the gift. Um, uh, I'm not sure what arbitrary system we're going to assign to unlocking layers. Mm -hmm. Either you're good, or um, if someone donates... 39 pounds specifically that can open you a layer that's a way for us to get a little bit of uh, birthday money <gasps> chat can um, help me open my birthday present uh, offset the um <laughs> offset the cost ronald uh, spent on a lot of wrapping paper did he <laughs> jesus uh, yeah ronald was telling me about it. it the layers you know Literally, like acres of the Amazon rainforest had to be destroyed for this. Wow! So I hope uh, hope you're happy with that. Okay, um, it's my responsibility now, is it? Yes. <laughs> what Ronaldo did. Yes. Um, <laughs> right. Very true. Uh, so yeah. Um, oh. Boom! You got you got special special gift. Oh my god! What can I open one now? No. Oh. Not yet. It's not your birthday yet. You behave yourself. Uh, but also, You're such a tease, Tom. Uh, there, there's You're all such a kinds, tease. All kinds of different things in there, um, and also we have a Warhammer quiz book from 2006. Ooh, that's a good year for Warhammer. Um, that's before Doombots. It's before Doombots, <laughs> and uh, you'll be also put to the test to see if you can, uh, you know, answer a question and um, see how smart. Ooh, you are. can I open a layer then as well? Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> you might have to do a test to see if, if I, you're allowed to open a layer. If I get it wrong, do I have to put another layer on? Yes. It's like strip poker. You will have to <laughs> do that. Well, if these do ramp up in difficulty. Like, I'll just give you an example of... What's one of the easy ones? Okay, we'll do an easy one. I want to compare an easy one and a hard one against... Oh, ah, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I, right. So I need to find the answers for these as well, which is going to delay this whole fucking problem. That's all right. Thing, I'm going to open up bit. more little windows of um, stuff to look at. Because we haven't done What's New in Warhammer for two weeks. There's so many things. Bombus. Uh, okay, right. I um, think we're, we're good. Where is this High Lords section? Oh my god, the High Lord category. Yeah, so what, this is information that the High Lords would know. What's Easy Mode called? Uh, that's called Trooper. Oh, okay. It's not like Snivelling Grot section. Yeah, yeah, not that. Um, okay, so an example, an easy question. You know orcs, right? I know about orcs. So Orcs with a K or orcs with a C? Orcs with a K. Oh, easy. Uh, so in the easy section, mm -hmm. what colour is an orc? This is a trick question? <laughs> this is in the easy section, Ben. <laughs> what colour is an orc? They're traditionally green. You're correct! Hooray! Present! No, Present! Yet. Oh. Um... Okay, and uh, in the High Lord section, which orc fighter ace was the leader of the Vulture Squadron during fighting on Rin's world? Oh, um, the, 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 the Red Baron Orc. Mm, no, it was the Black Burner. 
Oh, what the hell? So what the hell? Is the uh, answer green? No. <laughs> 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 Sadly not. Uh, although some of the some of the like high lord questions are actually like a bit more. Some I do know. Like Ooh, what, what okay. guidance systems do orcs use to control their guided missiles and bombs? Grot. Boom. Correct. That's, that's a high lord difficulty question. I feel like you could stab in the dark and get that one. Right? <laughs> yeah. How many orcs can be transported by a gargantuan squiggoth? Ooh, more than you might think. It's like 40 or something, right? It's 20 then. Oh, what? Which is less weirdly, than you might think. Less than you would think. <laughs> that thing's huge, though. Yeah. It's like this big. Is that what my present is? A gargantuan squiggoth. Oh, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Ooh. This is a good one. You might know this. In the original Rogue Trader rulebook, Orcs battle Space Marines in which sample scenario? <gasps> battle for the farm! Yes! yes. <laughs> good job! That's well, on Brin's World as well, I'll have you know. Mm. So, there could be some more quizzes later. <laughs> um, also hidden in uh, some of the layers of your uh, multi-tiered present from Ronald. Mm -hmm. He snuck in a couple of your hammer or law hammers Yay! that will be coming up. So you'll get to do uh, a couple of those. Oh, um, the best part of your hammer or law hammer is not having to think of one myself. <laughs> exactly. That's the best present of all, Tom. Yeah, yeah the, you know the worst part of doing this thing is having to come up with three in a week. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> As if, like, just doing one wasn't stressful. Three at a time. Uh, Perfect. Who's Ronald? Ronald is like the god of luck. Or something? Something? Yeah, Ronald is with you when you roll high in the winds of magic. Yeah, Ronald, be with you. Uh, Ronald Warhammer. He's like the god of good fortune and gamblers or something, right? Something like that. Uh, Thieves, the trickster god, ooh. the night prowler. The human god of luck, fortune, and mischief. Boom, yeah. Yeah. Oh, god of luck. He's got a twiddly moustache. He god does have a twiddly moustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, boom. So, I'm very excited. Me too. Me too. How are we going to start this off then? Uh, we do some what happened in Warhammer? We can start off with some what happened in Warhammer last week, if that is... If that's what you fancy. Well, well, I want my present. You're not allowed a present. Mm. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get to that. Okay. Or do you want to begin? Do you want, to, do you want a layer of your present? Please, sir. Just one layer. Can I just peek? Can I just tear one little corner off? Okay, only if you get... Ooh, okay, right. In the veteran section, mm -hmm. we're in the lucky dip category. Ooh! Which, uh, who knows how that is going to go. Right, I just want to make sure I've got the answers available. Uh, how tough is veteran? Oh, it's not too tough. It's like one higher than... Um, thing. Mm. Uh, okay. Who was the Dark Angel chaplain who had the most black pearls for interrogating Fallen? Ooh. Well, the, the chief interrogated chaplain is Asmodai. So he probably has the most. But maybe the legend tells of the guy who came before him who had a billion more than him. But I'm never going to remember that guy's name. Wow. So we'll just go with Asmodai. Uh, that's wrong. Oh. It's no present for you. It was uh, Malachi. Oh. With eight pearls. Eight? <laughs> it's honestly, I thought, I was expecting more. It's not more. that many. <laughs> <laughs> really not that many. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's. Oh. Uh, I think they help. add them to like their, um, they've got like a ros rosary beads. Yeah. And you can't really do many prayers with, well, that's the, the, the best. There's one guy who's probably just got one little pearl. One pearl. <laughs> that's not, that's not a great like fidget toy. Are they like Vodgoblin pearls? Uh oh! Do they come from the pile? Oh God! Yeah, maybe. Mm. Gross, kind of sticky, kind of. So he's got like oh, that's that's the thing, right? You start off with a big chain of white, creamy vodgoblin pearls, mm -hmm. and then every time you like make a fallen repent their sins, you get to replace one with a black pearl. Okay. So they all want to get rid of the disgusting. Yeah, that's a good incentive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you don't have to have the horrible um, sticky pearls. The sticky pearls around your neck all day, every day. Wow. Yeah. We've un unlocked it. Um, I'll give you one other chance. This is a fun question. Mm -hmm. uh, which of Colonel Schaefer's last chances is a convicted serial killer? 
Fucking you, all of them! You can, oh my god! I'll even let you open up a picture of the box so you can look at the models. Okay. And try and work I, out. Uh, I've never read the book, so I don't really know who most of the characters are. But I know the concept. They're like the Dirty Dozen in Warhammer. Yeah. So there's like convicted criminals formed together for one last heist and they can earn their freedom. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Which one of these guys is a serial killer? Yeah. I mean, it might be Shiv. He's got a knife. That's, That's a traditional true. serial killer <laughs> That's move. That's true. It's probably not the guy called Hero. I'm going to go out on a limb. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Fingers or Grease Monkey who like stole the commander's like hover car or something. Oh. Hot, went on a joyride in like the ambassador's hover car or something like that. That's I think what one of them is there because they stole like the captain's bottle of synth whiskey. Oh, or that something. sounds like, about broke right. Broke into his like, valise <laughs> yeah. and uh, drank the whiskey. <laughs> it might be Animal. He looks like he's got a bomb collar on. Ooh, I need your final final oh. guess. Don't look at chat. They can't help you. They're mm. just saying things at random. <laughs> yeah, and they're only right half the time. They're also wrong half the time. So true. I'm going to go with Animal, because he's more restrained than all the others. Yeah. And I feel like he's the most dangerous one. Makes sense. Uh, sadly, it will shiv. Oh, I want my fu- with, I should have gone with my gut. With, with the knife. With the knife, of course. It will shiv. <laughs> should have um, gone with my gut. Oh. Yeah, convicted of the murder of 20 civilians Ooh. over a five-year period on Lecter Prime. So, Yikes. Pretty bad dude. Pretty bad dude. I can see why they didn't let him have a gun. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like, would you, if you've got like a convicted serial killer, you don't want to arm them with their serial killing weapon, do you? No, that's their special move. That's their speciality. And it's going to yeah. it's going to put them back in the zone, right? Yeah, you're right. It's just going to bring back all the memories. And like, oh yeah, I remember what it's like to stab mm. those civilians. Oh, you look a bit <laughs> like a civilian. <laughs> right. Gotta watch out for Jesus. that. Jesus. <laughs> okay, you oh. have one uh, last one. Um, ooh. Uh, what's the maximum strength uh, of a model equipped with a power fist? In 2006. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, uh, well, stats were a lot lower back then. What did a power fist... Did it double your strength in 2006? I honestly can't remember. I think it mu- must have done. It probably capped out at 10. I'm going to say 10. You're right! Yay! You're right, Ben! You're now officially allowed to open... Present! One present, layer, one layer present, of present. the present. Praise be to Ronald. Ronald is with me. Ronald is with you. Uh, maybe we might need to get a bag to. Anyway, it's your present. You can deal with all the um the, the stuff. It's a party popper. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Hooray! Oh no, it didn't fire! <laughs> oh fuck. It didn't fire! <laughs> and Ronald got a big bag of them real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald has forsaken me! <laughs> it turns out you were very lucky today. There we go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is wedged in there, holy shit. Oh no. Okay, the misfire. That could have had my fingers off, Tom. <gasps> I've got a badge! <laughs> It's my birthday! It's green. Obviously, it's green. Ronald doesn't know about green screens. <laughs> no, he's from but the Warhammer but world. It's a, it's a rosette, like I'm a good dog. <laughs> You're a good dog. <laughs> it, has, it has dinosaurs on it. It's your birthday. <laughs> Ronald's doing a great job so far. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ronald's done amazingly well. How dare you. He's got me another party popper. I guess he knew there was a 50-50 chance. Like, <laughs> I think he was just throwing them in. <laughs> he, had the, he had the big old bag. Yay! Hey, it that one worked! Huzzah! Ronald giveth, Ronald taketh away. Well done. Here you go, Tom. Ah! <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> chocolate! And there's some chocolates, wow. Chocolate fudge brownies. Delicious. Delicious. I'll eat that when you're doing a battle. I think that's uh that's it. Generally you get one one thing per minute. Aww. 
Very good. Oh my god. Boom. It's still really big. <laughs> it's still pretty big. <laughs> um, I love it. Congratulations. Second birthday is the best birthday of Renald. all. Renald will be with you, Ben. Thank you. Maybe uh, we'll uh, have a... Do you want a, a quiz question, Ben? Quiz? Can I... Oh, can I open a present? Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, you've got to <laughs> answer a question, though. Right, I'll try and find, like... Ooh, what's a, what's a tough one? Uh, okay. Lord High Militant. Oh, that sounds like hard level. That's, like, way above Trooper. Lord High Militant. Uh, we're going to do Chaos. Just because I've got that page. Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines! Uh, ooh! Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, what kind? <laughs> if you get this right, my god, we'll be very impressed. Uh, what type of app human chaos renegade would you be mm-hmm. if you rolled a 70 on the renegade starting profile table? <laughs> you got what? <laughs> you took out that question again? What type of app human chaos renegade would you be if you rolled a 70 on the renegade, the chaos renegade starting profile table? I don't even know what book or rules that's from. Me neither. Chaos Renegade attributes. Starting starting. starting profile table. That's not from a regular book. That might be from some kind of weird spin-off White Dwarf game or something. (laughs) But that doesn't feel like it's from a from a main 40k book. Oh I'm gonna say um uh Cloven Hooves. Oh, sadly not. It's um uh Ogrin, major hero. Oh, Wow! So you didn't you didn't quite get that one. Oh, uh, didn't quite get that one. Oh, for my present. Okay, you can try again. Um, what about this one? Uh, where are the two copies of the Book of a Thousand Suns held? Where are what? Where are the two copies of the Book of a Thousand Suns held? The Black Library. <laughs> Ooh, one copy is in the black oh, library. Okay, okay. And and where's the other? Oh, either Araman has it, or the Inquisition has it. Those are going to be my guesses. Oh, sadly not. Is it neither? No, it's held by Magnus the Red on the planet of sorcerers. Oh, he, he's like Magnus's dad. He's like Araman's dad. <laughs> yeah, but it's not Araman, though, is it? He's not Araman, though, is he? <laughs> Shit. The original book nerd himself. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, fine. You can have one more chance. Oh. Who said, though my guards may sleep and my ships may rest at anchor, our foes know full well that the big guns, guns never tire. tire. I know the quote. Was it Lord Solar Macarius? No. Oh. It's Luthoron, the tyrant of Badab. Oh, of course it was! <laughs> like, Shit! Do you need an easy... Do you need an easy one? Fine, what's the first... Wow, is that... What's the first chaos question? Because it seems like you're struggling with the, the hard ones. Uh, ooh, wow! Oh no, that's, that's not... That's not Has it. anyone donated to let me have a, have a present? What? Can I get out of answering questions with No, you, have, you still out. have to answer questions. What? Making you answer questions is fun. It makes me feel smart. <laughs> because it seems like I know the answers, when actually I have to look it up in this awkward back of the book thing. Uh... What? What? That doesn't seem right. What doesn't seem right? Right, I've got the question trooper section. Answers mm. trooper section. Chaos Space Marine. God, is there like two Chaos Space Marines? Oh no, okay, right, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Turns out I'm the idiot, Ben. Oh, who could have guessed? Uh okay, right. We'll do give you an easy one. Um Ooh, that seems hard. How many obliterators can be in a single obliterator cult? Somewhere between three and nine, I guess. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, you're wrong. It's up to three. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was easy. Was it? Uh, That's when they were little weenie obliterators as well. Could you have them on their own? I the thought little, it was a minimum of three. Little baby boys. Shit. Do you remember how bad they were? I love those models. How dare you? I think they're cool. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Which of the four chaos gods don't do the... Don't patronise me, Tom! <laughs> Which of the four chaos gods do the death guard worship? Can you answer that one, Ben? Can you answer that question? No, God. <laughs> You're right, Ben. You're right. I feel right. Um... This little guy. I like these guys. How, did, how could you only have three of those in a unit? They're teeny tiny. I can understand only having like three of these boys. I don't really like those ones as much. No, I don't either. But like, I'm just, I'm just surprised. The, the era between those two are great. Like, are really, really nice. But these ones. Yeah, although I prefer, like, scroll up. Like, that guy. I like these guys. I really like these models. Like, the top bit, not as much. But like, the hands, like the actual, like, yeah. guns. Just growing out. Coming out of meat. <laughs> Real cool. But they do have their charms. <laughs> no charm at all. Oh, they're cool. How do you not like them? Look at their fun faces. <laughs> gun mouth. Oh, gun mouth. He's got gun eyes, gun chest, like just oh, real cool. I like them. I really like them. Okay. I think they're great. Well, you're wrong, but that's all right. We can still be friends. You're wrong. <laughs> uh, well, you got your question correct Yay! by answering who does the death guard worship. You may open open the layer. <laughs> oh, that was part of the last layer. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. Or, or is some of the layers empty? No, there should be a thing. There you go. I couldn't fully alternate colours because... Uh, Woo! Ronald is with me! Woohoo! Hooray! It worked! Boom. We're up to only a failure of 33% <laughs> of the party poppers. Ooh! What did you get? I got Gene Stealer Cult Dice! Wow, Ben! Oh, Ronald truly is with you! Because Ronald loved dice! Ronald is a big fan of dice. <laughs> you know, he's all about luck. Oh, thank you, Ronald. That's and a cool present. I really actually like most of the dice. Can you make? I don't really like, but I like these ones because the white and the purple contrast really well. White and purple high contrast. Also, um, I think Ronald heard you had a little Gene Stealer army. I do have a Gene Stealer cult army, and now wow. I've got the dice to go with them. Wow, Ronald, what a good boy! What a good boy! Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. That is a lovely present. Bam! Wow! Yay! And there's more layers to come. <laughs> there's a lot more layers to come. <laughs> My God. What the hell? Ben, ba ba ben, ba ba ben. Tom, 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 ta ta tom, ta ta tom. Ben, ben, ben. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. We did it. Ben's belated birthday bonanza. Ben's belated birthday. Can I put another layer, Tom? If you can answer a question, then yes. <laughs> Let me find the answers. Then yes. Then yes, you can. Um, ooh, well, I'm all about Dark Angels. You fucking ooh, love Dark Angels. I know some things about Dark Angels. I might so get that one right. If you get these wrong, then it means that you're fake. Uh, okay, cool. High Lord Militant section. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, that seems God, I fuck, that seems easy. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna skip it because it's too easy. <laughs> Which vehicle does the master of the Raven Wing ride into battle? Oh, do you mean Samuel? He rides a jet bike, but he used to also be able to allow to be riding a land speeder. I need one of those. No, but there's models for both. Yes, but... Jet bike and land speeder. Mm, well, uh, this book has one answer. <laughs> so... Oh, fuck. Well, I, I'm pretty sure the land speeder one came out first and then the jet bike one. Um, so if I have to pick one, I'm going to say land speeder. You're correct! Hooray! It's a land speeder! Oh, 
That was close. I was worried. You can do it. You can open a layer, Ben. Yay! Well done. Happy birthday, Ben Bonanza. Oh, I pulled my, pulled my cable out. What the heck? Do, 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 do. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet! You got a birthday onion! What? Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, think of all the things you could do with a birthday onion! Is this some kind of weird Thomas Child A birthday onion? Tradition? Oh, man, just... Did you used to get onions for your every, birthday? Just think <laughs> of... God, almost every meal... God, you could put an onion in every meal. Well, you, I guess you can, and they usually make it better, but not always. Oh, but almost any savoury meal. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Use an onion. Don't don't put one in your trifle. No savoury meals. <laughs> oh, oh, birthday onion. That's amazing. And there's a card <gasps> from Simon Lane of the Yox Cars. Wow! It's him riding a pig. What the heck? A, oh man, a birthday onion and a card. <gasps> it's a law hammer. Whoa! Oh my god, wow, wow, wow. Um, Necron play or Krabnos is real? Oh, okay. What does this mean, Tom? So these are the two categories. I'm what closing down mean? chat. Close down chat. Oh, they're going to help me cheat. In Law Hammer or Your Hammer, birthday edition. So, birthday edition. Don't. No, you've got to save that. Oh, what? And that's a good onion. You is know, it? chop it up, put it in, you know, a bolognese. You know, say, I can't eat it now. I've put save it, it for later. You've got to save it for later. Oh. Um, can't do anything nice on my birthday. You can uh, that and um, some some celery Ooh. and a, a carrot. Boom. What have you got? <gasps> Something slipped out. What? <laughs> what slipped out? Was this meant to be on this layer or the other layer? That's on a different layer. That's on a different but, layer. So I didn't see it. There was just, <laughs> it was just a heavy thing. It's a heavy thing. There's a heavy thing in the next layer. Uh, congratulations, you, you, you did it. Um, well, okay, so, Hit birthday. me with some law hammer, birthday law hammer. Right, what were the choices again? So in law hammer or your hammer, there's two stories about Warhammer lore, one of which is 100% true and accurate, and the other one is just made up bollocks that Tom thought of. And what did I write down on the You wrote card? down uh, Necron play or Krabnos is real. Okay, so Ben, let me take you on an adventure. <sighs> A mind journey. So, Hit right, me. the choices are... Mm -hmm. Sorry, the Necrons. Um, they, uh... No, I need your full attention. Oh, I was just going to... Since you this is going to be going for a little while, I thought we'd, everyone could look at Blorco. Oh, nice. Because then there's less screaming as well. <laughs> less screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nice. Uh, so, right. A lot of the Necrons have been awake for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they get, they get really bored. Oh. And so, are you familiar with the War of the Heavens, or the War yeah, in the Heavens? Yeah, War in the Heavens. That's when the Necrons and the Old Ones went to war, before humans even existed. So, it's a classic, classic tale. Mm. Um, so, the Necrons, you know, to entertain themselves, they decided to recreate that in play form. Ooh! And uh, so they have Necrons playing all of the parts, <laughs> and like Necron High Lords, they come along and they watch this play. Okay. And it lasts about a century. Wow. To tell the entire, entire story. Oh my um, god! Uh, from start to finish, so, and you turn up and you have to watch the whole thing in one sitting. Mm -hmm. If you sit uh, there for a hundred years, literally a hundred years, and watch the they, longest play ever. They do the play of the War in the Heavens, and the reviews are, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. So hang on, who's acting in this? Necrons. Other Necrons. Necron theater Necrons. But are they like? Are they like Necron warriors? Are yeah. they just like programmed? Does someone put in there like, now nah, say your line. Sure. And then Necron just comes out and goes, there was once a great war in <laughs> the heavens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got to fill a, a hundred years right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it's like on the level of a school nativity play. Yeah, yeah, that. Like but... a Necron warrior shuffles out. <laughs> it's like, Awkwardly. many years ago. Many years ago. <laughs> There were frogmen <laughs> and necrons. <laughs> now let us see. And then like a necron comes down on a wire. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it is bad! I am a stupid old one and I smell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see that's, uh, that's it. I love it. I want that one to be true. That's tale number one. Okay. Uh, tail... Oh, do the flayed ones put on the costumes? Oh my god, flayed <laughs> they put ones on their meat suits. Meat costumes, that'd be perfect. That'd be great. They can play all the Eldar. Oh, that'd be really good. Mm. So yeah, that's story okay. number one. Story number one. 
Um, story number two, mm -hmm. uh, Krabnos is actually real. I need a little more explanation than that, because in our mind, Krabnos is the giant crab that once fought Kragnos, mm -hmm. and um, there's not, we don't know a lot of lore about Krabnos, other than he's a giant crab who is a great rival to the staple of Warhammer lore, Kragnos. So, Krabnos is not his name, it's like Leviathrong. <laughs> uh, okay. And so there is meant to be a giant crab mm -hmm. that lives in the sea outside of Marienburg. Okay. And uh, is apparently the size of Marienburg. Ooh. And some chaos cultists once tried to summon him, but failed. And all they did was uh, manage to summon one of his like spawn, <laughs> right. uh, which was still a pretty big <laughs> right. mutant crab. Sure. Um, but there is a giant world ending crab that lives in the Warhammer world. Wow. And this isn't even Age of Sigma. This isn't Age of Sigma. This is Warhammer fantasy. Oh my God. Where uh, there's meant to be a giant crab. And because they summoned its child, mm -hmm. that means it's real. Even though this thing is a legend. Right. I see. Okay. And what its kid was just like a like a building sized crab, just a big uh, tentacle covered crab crab monster. Wow. I want the Necron story to be true, because it's dumb. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like Crabnos is probably true. Of course, Crabnos is true. We've been talking about him for so <laughs> long, man. such a long time. But there is there's like Warhammer fantasy role play source book set in Marienburg that would have mentioned like a random cult that worships a crab. That feels like it's probably Warhammer lore. But it's not as silly. It doesn't have Necrons <laughs> doing a nativity play <laughs> yeah. of the old gods. <laughs> Uh, the old ones, um, Kremlo might be there. He's he's a <laughs> he's slam. an old one, <laughs> yeah, sure. kind of. So kind he of. might he might feature <gasps> Kremlo cameo. Oh my god, you're making me choose between Kremlo and Krampnos. <laughs> exactly. How could exactly. you do this to me, Tom? So They're which... like my children. Yeah, I can't decide. I'm gonna go with my gut because my guts sometimes full of shit, but not today. I should have gone with my gut with Shiv. Oh, yeah. Snappy Shiv. That's where I, I made my mistake. So I'm sticking to my guns today. Boom. Krapnos is real. Necrons. Oh. Stupid. Oh. You're wrong, man! No! <laughs> no, the Necron play is real. <laughs> that is actually. Does it really a, last centuries? That it literally lasts over a century. <laughs> and um, it's just kind of all right. <laughs> and it's. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's the review tr tries and the infinite, or one of the. Goofy Necron Lords went to see it <laughs> right. and comes out and was like, eh, it was okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they had nothing else to do. And it's, you've got a, <laughs> sure. a, a century to kill. So fuck it, yeah, let's just go and see that play. <laughs> yeah. um, whereas, no, the Kravnos thing is completely made up. Oh. But you fell into the trap. I said it at Marienburg because there is the Marienburg source book. That I haven't read. <laughs> <laughs> that you haven't read. I but thought, I like, did the same to you. I made up a story about a spooky poop demon that lived in a house in Marienburg. Yeah. Um, but, and I said it there on purpose yeah, yeah, to bait you with the Warhammer and fantasy. And it feels like something that could be a Warhammer fantasy <laughs> yeah. roleplay thing. You could just picture, ah, it's like the 80s. Yeah, they're probably something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> A bow. Oh, you played me. You played me like a fiddle. One point to Tom. Oh, well played, sir. Well uh, Ronald was Ronald was with me uh, was on uh, this part of the day. Mm. Um, <laughs> ow. <laughs> um, Pretensis has donated thirty nine dollars, Tom. What the hell? It's the magic number. Oh God. They uh, say for the emperor. It's for me, Tom. It's for me. Oh, it's for me. Yes, you can open a layer. I'm gonna open a layer of my present. I Thank you, you Pretensis. You'll have to do a quiz in a second after the battle. Wait, I'll, I'll find an easy one. Okay. Can you, Eldar? Mm-hmm. Uh, boom. Which chaos god was created during the Eldar fall? Slanesh. Uh, correct. Hooray! I did it. Didn't check the answer, but I'm gonna. I'm just going to assume you got. Well, I said it with such confidence. Uh, it's Thatcher's gold. It's a, it's a delicious. It's a delicious beverage. cider. Many other ciders are available, but this one is mine. A delicious beverage. Thank uh, you. Wow. 
I'm going to have a little birthday drink after the stream. Renal. Renal. What, what a lovely boy, Aww. Renal. Thank you very much. Also, I believe you dropped some more party poppers. Did I? I did not. Ah, you're right. Do you want to do a party popper? Uh, sadly, I've got uh, a Kislev party to pop right now. Ooh, you did oh, it. Oh, that one actually worked. Oh, oh, smoky. 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 Happy my birthday, Tom. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, so stringy. It's so immersive. <laughs> Do you feel like you're part of it now? Uh. Oh, did I press a button? Sorry. Hit, hit a button. I was moving my birthday onion. <laughs> yeah, birthday onion. <laughs> Careful. Don't lose that. That's a good that's a good onion, Ben. Did you pick it special? I didn't pick anything. Oh. Ronald. Ronald is very supportive of <laughs> onions. Right. They're so versatile. They are versatile. You can you can chop them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Literally do all of that. I mean, mashed onions doesn't sound great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not, not really super familiar with mashed onions, but you know what? Could be good. Why not? Mash Why not? An onion, uh, fry it up, probably a thing. Yeah, that's probably like a fancy, like traditional cuisine somewhere. Oh yeah, somewhere. Mashed fried onions. Del delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Ronald. I have to get that in the fridge. I'm having my, myself a warm sitter right now. Yeah, that ain't the dream. Oh my God, Deacon. Deacon IX has also donated $39. What the heck? Oh my god, Deacon, thank you very much. Uh, okay, well, um, what name is given to the Adeptus Mechanus tech priests who are fielded in Imperial Guard armies to maintain and repair vehicles? Oh, engine seers. Ooh, probably. Is that the answer? I'm sure I got that one right. Uh, is that, is that it? Oh shit, you. apparently you, you might be winning. Shall I pause this? Like, the bar's gone better than it was at the start. Yeah, man, it's been great games. You are good at games, Every even though you lost your general. People are like, bleh, tell them bad. They never take the game seriously. <laughs> They're not playing properly. Like, you know, look at the fucking win race, you nerd. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God. It is an engine seer. Hooray! Oh. Thank you, Deacon and Pretensis, for unlocking Lair Unlocked. Good job. Uh... Nom, 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 nom. Ooh! Models? What have you got? What have you got? What did oh Renal get? Oh my Renal has been very generous. It's a box of Sisters of Battle Retributors. What the hell? Didn't you always say that you wanted to get some Sisters of Battle models and I... start test painting some? I did say that. Wow, Ronald must Ronald. have listened at oh some my point God. got you those. Thank you. I've always been... Because the Sisters of Battle models are just really good, and I've just always always wanted to paint some up. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, how do you know Ronald? Ren Ronald? What the heck? Does he watch the streams? I don't think Ronald... I feel like Ronald's got better things to do. <laughs> uh, but... I'm going to build my very own glass cannon S. <laughs> exactly. That's it. <laughs> Uh, and look, they've got the little robo babies what hang around with them. Robo babies? Who doesn't want robo babies? They just FAQ'd these actually. You can only use one of these per turn now. Uh, Whereas before you used to be able to use as many as you wanted. Oh yeah, because man, and you just turn one. I'm just go like eight multi melters. <laughs> Great, cool, yeah. My unit of five multi melters fires eight multi melters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh, very cool. Aw, oh, thank you. With my gene stealer dice. Wow, Ronald. So cool. Such a cool boy. And that was amazing. Oh my god, it just... <laughs> oh, the next layer of my onion gift, Kish Kebab says. What? Can I have another layer, Tom? Please, Tom! Please! Please, yeah, Tom! If you can, if you please, can do Tom! A, if you can do a question... Please! Sure. What do you want a question on? Sure, let's do... Uh, Something we haven't had yet. Let's do towel. Ooh, towel law. Um, uh, where was um, Koro Kashata raised? <laughs> I'm never opening my present. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. 
Tau. The home world of the Tau. <laughs> uh, no, it was in an orbital above Sasir. Well, of course. How Sasir. Did you, how did you fucking know that? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, where's this book? Oh, Shazla Kais was born in which sept? <gasps> you should know this one. Isn't, isn't that the... Um, Guy from Fire Warrior. Oh shit! No, that's Ka Kai. But it's spelled, it's spelled K. Oh, you're right. Shazo Kaius is the Fire Warrior protagonist. He becomes a chosen of Corn, which I thought was amazing. Well, I thought that was in always like the the thing. Like he was chosen by Corn. That's why he was so like violent. Yeah. So in it, I don't remember if the video game goes into it, but I read the novelization of Fire Warrior. And um, he becomes this absolute Rambo badass behind enemy lines and murders everyone. And it's because there's this like corn demon prince trapped in an artifact that's like fueling him with like all this bloodlust. And yeah. it slowly, as he gives into it more and more, he becomes more and more badass, which is why like he's able to kill everyone in the in the computer game. What a badass! But it's really unusual. You don't often get a lot of like demon possession for Tao. Um, where is he from? So what sept? Um, I don't know if I could name. The only septs I could name are the Farsight Enclaves, which he's definitely not in them. Or like, there's one called like Borkan, um, but it's probably not them. What sept? I'm going to go with Borkan. It's the only one I can remember the name of. No, uh, Shazlakai, the sept they were born in, was Tau. Is that a sept? <laughs> yeah. Fuck! <laughs> not very good, Ben. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, which renegade fire warrior commander was assassinated Yay! in a conspiracy oh. between the water cast and the Imperial Inquisition? Oh, shit. When you said renegade fire warrior, I was going to say Farsight, but he wasn't assassinated. Also, I will need their full name. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, no birthday for Ben. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> so are you giving up on this one? Um, I'll call him Sh Shaz O... You got the first F bit right. Karaleth Schlizzle. Ooh. No, Shaz O Tashvar Olnan Bakak Commander Brightsword. Fuck me. Okay. Who said of the Kroot, mm. at least in space, they cannot eat their enemies? Oh, Jesus. Uh, full name again, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I, Anun Seyorch Nanthutep. No, it was Coral Dalith Dashti. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't want any more Tao questions. <laughs> you said you wanted one that we haven't had before. <laughs> okay. What sort of device is used by members of the Watercast to translate alien languages? Oh, you'd like that one, Ben. Oh, I would like that one. Um, What's their. Universal Translator called? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The Universal Translator. Sadly, it's the Polyglot Hedron. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what sort of vessel is used to mine hydrogen with electromagnetic scoops? Oh, is it the, um, is it the, the, the not squat? The, Demiurg Brotherhood Stronghold ship. It's the Demiurg Stronghold Commerce Vessel. I'll give it to hey! you. You got one. I got one. Well done. Oh, the Scoopinator. I remember because in Battlefleet Gothic, they could absorb blast markers. <laughs> it hoover them up and then shoot them out. <laughs> nom, 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 yeah. nom. Cool. I did one. Get your, open yourself a layer Yay! of your... Um, Birthday layer. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's not an onion. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get then? I got some Haribo Tang Fastix. Wow. These are, I'll be with you. I fucking love these. Aren't they your favorite They're sweets? One ben? of my favorite sweets. Can you guess which one? The cherries, because cherries are. The they the are the cherries. I would buy a bag of just cherries and cola bottles. If Everyone, I could. yeah, I think they know people would buy that, and they don't sell cherries. it because because <laughs> they would never sell normal no, Marabou no ever again. No one wants the other fucking shit in there. They just want <laughs> cherries. Would you like a cherry? Oh yeah, because they are the best. <laughs> Thanks, man. 
Mm. Wow, Ronald knows you so well. Oh, Ronald, you hero. So many presents that are all amazing. Good job. Mm. Does that mean you need to do a, a quiz, Ben? Do you want to quiz? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they paid for another layer, Tom. Tom, 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 they paid for another layer. Okay, right. Ooh. okay you were just talking about Slanesh. So let's maybe have a Slanesh thing. Uh, okay, right. Where are we? Uh, be good. Behave. Right. Well, actually, no. Imperial Navy. We've not had that yet. Ooh. Uh, right. Where are we? Hi, Lords. Imperial Navy. Okay, right. At the dawn of the Gothic War, Magus Astolax of the Adeptus Mechanus listed the symptoms of the plague he encountered on which merchant vessel? <laughs> um... Uh... The Valiant Endeavour. Mm, sadly not. It's the Shanksy. <laughs> the Shanksy! Uh, which naval officer found the Space Hulk that was later rebuilt as the Divine Right? Um, Fleet Admiral Carallax. Mm, sadly not. It's Captain Jacobus. <laughs> Jacobus, of course. That old dog. Uh, Can we have a question that's not name someone you've never heard of? <laughs> that's what like the last eight questions have been. Okay, fine. Which <laughs> alien species crewed the Sharak Fracker, one of the notable prizes claimed by the Divine Right? Alien species. Yeah. Um, the Hrud. No, it's the Fraral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never even heard of them. <laughs> I want to know what they look like. The How do I spell it? F R A. Uh, yeah. Boom dash A L. Foral. Foral. There you go. Well, there's a picture of a spaceship. Highly psychic something or others. Um. Oh, well, this guy's imagined they look like that. Oh. That looks like a Necron ship to me. Yeah, that front bit. That's um, that looks just like the nothing. A bunch of psychic nerds with no pictures. I'm guessing this was like a studio conversion of a Necron ship that they then did in a White Dwarf scenario or something uh, like that, yeah. right? Yeah, look here we go, right? Yeah. Sure. Wow. Oh wow! But they're also in all the Horus Heresy books. Never heard of them. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, well, if you can't do Imperial Navy, uh, according to the Tactical Imperium, when are wars won or lost? <gasps> when the battle lines are drawn. Correct. Hooray! You did it. <laughs> you did it, Ben. I knew that one. You can uh, open up a layer of the Ben present. Well done. Yay. You did, you did a... That wasn't even an easy one. <gasps> Chocos. Oh, you got some, <gasps> some chocolada. Chocolada. Wow, Ronald be with you, oh, Ben. One day I can be strong and tough. Like the Milky Bar Kid. The Milky Bar Kid, that little and asshole. Then Twix, legit, one of those superior chocolate bars. Boom. Very oh. good. Hooray! Good job. Well met. Hooray! Well done, Chocos. sire. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah, did any kid ever think that the Milky Bar Kid was like a cool dude they wanted to be like? <laughs> He's just the worst mascot of all time, isn't he? Just super lame. <laughs> the lamest kid. Like, he's like the kind of mascot all the other mascots make fun of. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, because he's the little, little nerd. <laughs> Marauders of <sighs> he's not strong or tough. He's oh, mummy's yeah. precious boy, and only the best is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Not a, cool, not a cool dude at all. I feel like he grows up to be Joffrey. Oh, Game yeah, something like that. For sure. Some little asshole. Fuck the Milky Bar kid. That's <laughs> what I say. That's my hot take of the day. <laughs> uh, but that's enough for you to um, maybe get a layer. That's enough for a layer! 
Empty flop. Thank you. If you get a question, ah! right? Can you... it not be name a person you've never heard of, please? Yeah, it's going to be that. Right. What are we doing? Uh... Doing about Necrons. Ooh, Necrons from 2006. Oh, this will be old Cron lore. Yeah, that's fun. Mm. This is going to be <laughs> they, really tough. They retconned Necrons pretty hard in like. They've done it a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on which world was the Basilica of St. Gepelin, a shrine world destroyed by a Necron attack? Name a shrine world that was destroyed by a Necron attack. Yep. Ophelion 3. Mm, sadly, it's Verdus Prime. <laughs> uh, ooh, how many Necrons guarded the tomb of the Nightbringer? Oh, wow. Um... A thousand. Mm, close. It was four. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Four. Of course, four. of course it was. The Nightbringer loves the number four. Um, okay. Uh, where and what was, is the Noctis Labyrinthius? Ooh! I think you might know this one. I... Know that word. Mm. <laughs> the Labyrinth of Night. Yeah. Where is I don't know this one. Fuck. Is it like a pocket dimension thing? That like Oh! It's where the where the Void Dragon sleeps on Mars. Boom. Is that right? You know, I'll give it to you. No, because, no, back in 2006, it wasn't called the Void Dragon. Yeah. It, it was like mysterious thing on Mars. It's a kept. mine complex in the northern reaches of Mars. Yeah. Give the, yeah, you can open a, you can open a layer Yay! of your gift bag. Ooh. Ooh. What have you got, Ben? It's Jaffa Cake! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Congratulations, Renald! Renald, how did you know? Joffo Cakes. Well done. Well done, Renald. Joffo Cakes. Joffo Cakes. Would you like a Joffo Cake? Yeah. Whoop. Bye! Thank you, son. Mmm. Yummy. Thank Delicious. you. Thank you, Ronald. Delicious. Mm. Are we getting into the things I found around the office part of the present? <laughs> no. Uh, Ronald bought those, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I do love Jaffa Cakes. Mmm. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, Half Home has donated $52.80, Tom. What the heck? <gasps> That's so many dollars. My dearest trinket teller, Tom, and belated birthday, Ben. Hopefully, Tom will let you open a present now. And since Tom is a two, true space marine at heart, here is a present. Here is his present, sorry. What? A game recommendation. Please check out Sucker for Love First Date. <laughs> yeah, is this, yeah, is this a, yeah. This sounds like a vampire dating sim. Oh. Am I right? I feel, favorite, like, I feel like I'm right. Your favorite game, Tom. Uh, okay, well, if you can answer a question, then you can have a thing. Yay! Um, yeah, it is a vampire dating sim. You should have <laughs> Who would oh. have thought? <laughs> okay, present! Right. Present! Present! Okay. Thank you, Half Home! Uh, sure. Right. Do you want to know about the, the, the Tyranids? Okay. They won't have any stupid named people. No, sir. What the fuck even are two names? Was it just who killed the swarm lord? <laughs> <laughs> who killed the swarm lord? <laughs> uh... Oh, it's not a vampire dating sim. Is it not? It's a Cthulhu dating sim. Oh, uh, okay. It's fun. I want to date. Cosmic Horror Courtship. Ooh. Sounds like my dating life. <laughs> Cosmic aura. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is the tune of answers? Right? Just a fucking idiot? Oh, there. <laughs> my bubble popped off. <laughs> Got too excited for my present. I popped. I popped my bubble. Sure. 
Okay. Uh, which Inquisitor mm -hmm. investigated the rebellion on Ichar 4? Ooh, Inquisitor Cryptman! Which was revealed to be caused by G-Sealer infiltrators. I remember the battle for Ichar 4. It was the first global campaign. Ooh. Where Craftworld and Latok, I believe, helped the Ultramarines and the Imperial Guard fight off the first Tyranid High Fleet. Wow. And I'm pretty sure it's Cryptman. Uh, it was Inquisitor Angmar. So. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it, Ben? That oh! sucks. Uh, which uh, is the species name of the Tyranid Norn Queen? Oh, what? Oh, my God. There hasn't been a model for it. Um. I don't know. Dominatus Supreme or it's, something. It's uh, Tyrannicus Primogenitor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> uh, oh. On which planet did a Tyranid Carnifex survive the Exterminatus by entering a state of dormancy Ooh. in which it could heal its wounds? Um, McCrag. It's Aradani 5. Oh, fuck. Is that old one eye? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe, man. Uh, okay. Gene stealers are believed to have reached the moons of Ngal. Yes. In the holds of a spacecraft returning from which death world system? Gene stealers live on Ngal. That's what I thought the question was going to be. <laughs> Ngal gene stealers. Certainly not, Ben. Ngal gene stealers, Tom. Certainly not. Ah! I don't know, Procyon 12. Mm, it's Tiamat. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, by what name did the anointed Congregation of the Celestial Womb on planet Gariel Fall refer to the coming Tyranid High Fleet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I misheard that last part. Can I hear it again, please? By which name did the anointed congregation of the Celestial Womb on the planet of Gariol Fral refer to the incoming, uh, the coming Tyranid High Fleet? The Star Mother. <gasps> the Great Sky Mother. Yeah! That's close enough! I'll give it. I'll give it to you. You can have the great <laughs> you can have the great sky mother. Yay! The stars are in the sky. It's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Well done. Oh. Well done, sir. Oh. <laughs> present! 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 Pre oh, I dropped my badge. Your badge. Can't can't be the birthday boy without your badge. No, no one will know. I mean, no one can read it anyway because it's green. <laughs> there we go. Birthday bond. I think Ronald Ronald struggled to find uh, <laughs> birthday. Present, present, present. What have you got? This then? is a present everyone can share. <gasps> oh, it's a card from Ronald. Ronald has sent another card. It says Lorehammer with a picture of a coom dick. <laughs> wow, wow. And some, <laughs> some hearts. Quite a pointy one as well. Um, so the Lorehammer or your hammer is about either an annoying demon or a filling planet. Oh, it's meant to be filing, but filing I don't planet. think can spell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, Lawhammer or Yawhammer is a fun game where we make... We, Tom tells two tales of Warhammer lore, one of which is 100% accurate, the other is made up bullshit. Mm -hmm. Which is which? Okay, boom. Mm -hmm. So, the first, the first tale. Um, so, uh, the Chaos Demons, they like to fight amongst themselves. They sure do. And after a particularly savage defeat at the hands of Korn, mm -hmm. Zinch is a little bit annoyed with um, his sort of like generals, um, sort of like the Council of um, whatever they're called. Lords of Changes. Changes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. The Flock of Changes. <laughs> the Flock of Changes. And so uh, he is like, I got to kind of get these guys into shape like they are they're idiots and so he blesses one of his special boys um with the amazing power of hindsight okay 
and uh, he sets the demon amongst his Lords of Change to kind of explain to them what went wrong. <laughs> um, right. And then about a week later, I'm guessing, uh, they almost have a civil war in Zinchland because this guy pisses people off so much <laughs> right. that Zinch decides to uh, get rid of him and throws him into the webway. <laughs> wow. Uh, but they managed to get rid of some of the like shitter laws of change. Mm -hmm. So was it all by design or was it an accident? Was it part of his plan all plan? along? Oh my god. The Lord of Hindsight would suck, wouldn't he? He'd just be like, well, if I was there, actually, I would have not well, what, died. What you should have done is this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> did Zinch make a Hindsight Demon to <laughs> piss off his generals and uh, almost have a civil war? Weed out the weak. More. Mm, okay. Is there a, a planet called Prol 9? And uh, so this is a sort of administratum world mm -hmm. where um, they do all of the filing for the Imperium. <laughs> right. But Prol 9 is on the verge of a civil war <gasps> because they cannot store any more data there. <laughs> right. They've got too many books. Okay, um, all the filing cabinets are full. Literally all the filing cabinets are full. Mm -hmm. And so they're on the verge of a civil war <gasps> of Two factions are rising. Mm -hmm. One, they want to colonize the world of Prol 10 <laughs> right. and uh, start filing stuff there. <laughs> right. And the other side, they want to start burning old files <gasps> and getting rid of it to free up space for new files. Wow. So. Oh my God, fucking book nerds. A is there them. the book nerd uh, Benwick planet? Hmm. Oh, or is there hindsight team? Actually, actually, um, <laughs> <laughs> where well, you went wrong? I want, I want Birdo's to be true. That's what my heart says. Stupid, stupid, annoying, actually bird man. I feel like the the data planet could be true, but I feel like it's not grim dark enough. You know what I mean? I feel like if there was a story about like the filing planet it would be ridiculous like they'd have already started like writing on all the files on the other side of the pages or like um they'd be fighting over something pettier and the solution would be more ridiculous i think rather than just like making another filing planet that feels that's my gut i'm gonna go with birdo's hindsight bird 2020 Lord of Change. Well, uh, actually, <laughs> you're wrong! No! The, the filing planet is real, <laughs> right. and the hindsight demon was just made up! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> actually, I think you'll find actually. the clues were there all along. Well, the whole time, then. Um, if you'd looked carefully, you would have seen. Because, uh,. K Kairos Fateweaver already kind of has that plan <laughs> of the hindsight power. Um, Shit. Sorry, Ben. Foiled again. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, Prol, Prol, oh. 9. Prol 9 is um, a planet with like uh, maybe a paragraph in a war, one of the Warhammer fancy roleplay books. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the. Oh, one of the like, like Quizster, Quizster ones or something. Or something. Wow. So, not super well known. No. Oh, that's where the best lore hammers come from. It's where <laughs> some of the most obscure stuff comes from. Oh, that was a good suggestion in chat. Just start tattooing the history onto all the people who live oh on the God. planet. That'd be, that'd be difficult. I've got to go d look in the graveyard to dig up the files from 4,000 years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> but don't worry, we perfectly preserve all the bodies. <laughs> Somehow that's better than writing it all down. You need to. <laughs> um, well, congratulations. Uh. You took part in another... Uh, your hammer or law? Oh, we did. That was a present for everyone. Everyone gets to play. <laughs> uh, oh, Leia! Birthday Leia! Chat's right. Oh, shit. Someone paid for a birthday Leia. Uh, it was it was Double O'Connor, the one we just named. Oh, well, perfect. Uh, birthday, okay. birthday, birthday, right. birthday. What birthday. haven't we had? Um... Oh, Imperial Vehicles! God. 
This will be a fun one. Okay. Okay. What the fuck is the Imperial Vehicle section? Behave yourself, Ben. I feel a box, Tom. Something box shaped. Ooh! I'm excited. I'm gonna eat one of my birthday sweets while I wait. What the hell? An Imperial vehicle. Okay, great. Is it a key? I've always wondered. Is that a dummy or a key or something else? I don't know. What do you, what do you call that, chat? Cockring. Cockring. Uh, who designed the original Metal Dreadnought model? Oh my god. Um, Jez Goodwin. Uh, it's Bob Naismith. Classic Bob. Uh, what was the name of the Imperial Titan destroyed by the demon Sherebel? Oh, fuck. I've read that book. That's from the Eisenhorn series. <gasps> Cherubal. I always pronounced it. Don't know if oh, that's right. It might, it might not be right. Um, I forgot he killed a Titan. Oh, I've got no idea. I've read that book. Um, I don't know. Um... Um, in Indomitus Rex. It's a uh, Kruer Vault. <laughs> <Right>. Close. <laughs> uh. Wow. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay, right. Uh, what is the top, uh, what's the maximum airspeed of the standard land speeder? <laughs> Oh, I bet it's surprisingly not as fast as you think it is. I'm going to say, like, 300 miles an hour. Ooh, it's 350 kilometers an hour. Oh, is that close enough? Um, <laughs> That's no, chat. Is that an no, African or European land speeder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, what is this? Okay, well, um, what were the three original types of Imperial Dreadnought? Ooh, God, there's a million now. Um, Furioso. That's got to be one. Um, oh, fuck, I can picture them. These are the, like, Rogue Trader era Dreadnoughts, right? Um, they all had angry faces. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, it's before the OG Boxy Boy. Yeah, before uh, the Boxy Boy. This was yeah. the um, the weird little wiggly ones. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to... I'm just... Um, they might have their names, though, Ben. I need a... Okay. It's these boys. Yeah. That guy. Um, fuck. I'm pretty sure one was a Furioso. One of them might have been a Contemptor that they re reused that name later. And then I'm going to go with Furiosa Contemptor and um, Inferno. Oh, so there was the Fury Bundus, <laughs> shortened to Fury, the uh, Contemptor, which was Chuck, and the Dorito, which was Eddie. Dorito, of course. I remember that. Oh, fuck, I was kind of close. Uh, what is the unladen weight of the standard Phobos pattern Land Raider? <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I was going to say laden or unladen for the Monty <laughs> Python. A Phobos class Land Raider, fully loaded. Un no. No, unloaded. Unladen. An unloaded Land Raider. Um, oh, holy shit. Well, a car, like a small car is like a ton, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like 20 tons? It's 72 tons, Ben. 72 tons? Big tank. What? Big, big heavy tank. That would fucking sink, <laughs> like, into the ground. Like, is that not too heavy to drive with? Um, the tracks aren't that wide. I honestly feel like that would just fall into the ground. But how much was the mouse tank weigh? <sighs> thousand tons. I feel like it was like 100 tons. Oh, 100 right? tons, and the rat was 1,000. Yeah, but they never built them. Yeah, but it was like the theorized, right? Because this was like the biggest tank ever built. And they only built the prototype. They never like put it into production. Um, where's the weight on this thing? Mass. 207 tons. 
Oh, it's 200 tons. Okay. Oh, well, I guess 75 is, could exist then. Fine. I take it back. Uh, what real-life vehicle was featured in Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader as the fabled mount of the mercenary bike warriors? What was the first part of that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what real-life vehicle was featured in Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader as the fabled mount of the mercenary bike warriors? Oh, was it like a Harley Davidson? Uh, it's the Vincent Black Shadow. <laughs> I'm never going to open my present. <laughs> Name uh, at least two features of vehicle recognition an Imperial infantryman should check before deciding to open fire or hold. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Is it those stripes the Imperial tanks have on the <laughs> side? <laughs> Say... You can just say anything you like. Um, uh, does it have well, just like markings, right? You've got to look for the logos, like the Imperial Aquila. There are like, two features of vehicle recognition in Imperial Infantry Mansion. The silhouette or, and the insignia. Ooh. No. It's the turret, the armament, the track assembly, the hull, Vox, and signal masts. Oh, just check all those things before you shoot every time. Okay, right. <laughs> Uh, wow, this is a big old list. Uh, let's see if you can get all of these. Uh, which Imperial vehicles could GC the Colt armies use in second edition Warhammer 40,000? Okay, okay. Lehman Russ. Boom, yes. Sentinel. Yes. Chimera. Yes. Rhino. Yes. Predator. Yes. Basilisk. Oh, no. Ooh. You're going to have to be careful. How many wrong can I get before I'm out? I'll let you have two more wrong ones. Okay. And I'll give you a hint. Mm -hmm. There is one more Space Marine vehicle, and there is one more Imperial Guard vehicle. Okay. Because I remembered they could use Space Marine vehicles. That's why I went with, like, Rhino and Predator. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need two more vehicles, but if I get two more wrong, I'm out. Yeah. Um, but it's second edition, so a lot of vehicles didn't exist yet. I feel like you can take that space room one off real, real quick and easy. Wow, I feel like my my brain wanted to say Land Raider, but I wondered if that was like too special for Genius Steel Colts. I'm just going to say um, you said Land Raider. I'm giving it to you. Yay! Tick. They can have right, Land Raider. Two guesses okay. at what the last Imperial Guard vehicle is that they can use. What was an early Guard vehicle? I don't know if Demolisher counts as a different vehicle to the Lehman Russ, or if it was. What other Guard vehicles are there? I'm surprised Basilisk wasn't on there. Um, I'm going to go with Demolisher. <laughs> One guess left. Um, Look at chat. Griffin? Oh, that's a good guess. That's probably what I would have guessed, but you're wrong there. Hellhound. It's not Hellhound. Because <laughs> I was gonna, oh, I was hoping you were gonna say Hellhound because everyone in the chat was saying. Yeah. Uh, it was the um, Imperial Guard Land Speeder. Oh my god! <laughs> Which I never would have got. I, it. I oh. never thought you'd guess Imperial Guard Land Speeder. That's a, <laughs> that didn't. Ex a, that's a first edition thing. It didn't exist in second edition. Uh, but it even uh, says dropped when the Imperial Guard Codex removed that vehicle. Well, yeah, that's why I wasn't gonna say it. Here it was. Here it is. These cool guys. Look at them go. But yeah, man, you do not want to break too hard in that thing. No, because you fucking <laughs> die. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Why? What is this one? Um, Marine Artificer Simagus discovered the means to create what Imperial tank? Hang on, who discovered the Imperial means? Simagus. Simagus. Uh, Razorback. Oh, it's the Land Raider Crusader. Oh. How many Space Marine Dreadnoughts took place in the largest recorded Dreadnought versus Dreadnought confrontation <laughs> which took place in the Third War of Armageddon? <laughs> ah. <laughs> um. 72. Ooh, 17. <laughs> oh, that's not many. I've, I know, I've, I've seen tournament armies with more dreadlocks <laughs> yeah, than that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, you, f- you failed every single Imperial Vehicles oh, thing. I guess I don't they know don't, don't know anything about Imperial Vehicles. Um, Your questions are so weirdly specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so hard. <laughs> God. <sighs> okay. Fine. Do you want an e- do you want an easy one? I don't want like a vehicles. super easy one. Like don't don't go to fucking pleb level because they have the <laughs> super easy. Give me like one step up from pleb level. Okay. Right. We'll go to veteran. So they have veteran imperial vehicles. I don't know if they have a veteran uh, imperial vehicles one. Veteran. History of the Imperium. How does that sound? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll try right. that. Let me just find the answers. Veteran. History of the... Oh, my God, these are fucking dumb. (laughs) Are any of these tough? I mean, this was written before Horus Heresy got, like, super fleshed out. Like, I think a lot of Horus Heresy stuff was niche information in 2006. Yeah. Uh, What was the name of the Ogren who became famous bodyguard of Colonel Grace? Of the Katshan second. Was it Nork... Nork Dead Dog? Yeah! Yay! You did it, Ben. Oh, present, 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 present. <gasps> it's the best layer yet, Tom! What did you get? <laughs> it's not a birthday Whoa. onion! Not a second birthday <gasps> what onion! What a treat! What the heck? Oh, um, oh that's... Oh, man, oh that's really lucky. Oh, man, I... I could have eaten the other onion earlier. <laughs> there was another one. Second birthday onion. Wow. Ronald must really <laughs> like you, Ben. I'm such a lucky boy. Where has my first onion gone? <laughs> have you lost yours? <laughs> oh, no, here it is. It's under the cart. Now oh, I've got two. <laughs> oh, blessed day. <laughs> two birthday onions. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh. Monsieur, with this <laughs> double onion, you're really spoiling us. Man, think of, think of the things you could make. Oh, French onion soup. Oh, oh. This just makes the questions worse. How <laughs> 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 you go through all of those questions? <laughs> oh, man. Second birthday. Oh, that's, that's great. Oh, man. man. That's really what can lovely. I make if I put all of my birthday treats together? <laughs> Jaffa cakes, Haribo, cider, um... Milky Bar Twix and two <laughs> onions. I'm going to make the best birthday cake ever. I feel like you could make some kind of uh, s- semi-tasty soup with the cider and the onions. I feel like that could uh, that could work. <laughs> I don't know about putting too much of the Haribo, Haribo or chocolate in there. Or maybe the Haribo can be like um, caramelized, like sugar. Oh, that could be good. And then the onions can be like fried in the in the caramel. That, that sounds just delicious. Mmm. Uh, well, Ben, you got a layer if uh, you can answer some questions. Yay, present! Right, which section haven't we had? Um, I want something that isn't just going to be fucking some weird dude's name. Ooh, Alien and Chaos Vehicles. That's Ooh. When is that ever going to be bad? Oh my god, look how many stacks this guy sent in. So the the, the Kislevs who took the Tower of Karak, he's got the stack in there that you fought. They've got another stack here, another stack here, another stack here, and another stack here. Wow, they really do not like, do not like us. Wow, and Blorko is very far away. That's a sad, sad time. Demon Prince. Holy moly. Okay, Ben. Yes. What's the maximum number of Tau troops that can be transported by a Tau Manta? Oh, God. Okay. A Manta can carry... I think it can carry four Devilfish. So are we going to Russian doll this shit? Um, And it also depends on battle suits. Each battle suit takes up, like, a certain number of spots for an infantryman. Um... Oh, man. There's so many different ways to answer this question. What's uh, the maximum number of Tau troops that can be transported? Well, according to this book, there's only one way you can answer it, Ben. 48. It's 188. 188? 
I guess if you don't put any vehicles or battle suits in, it can fit more infantry in? Mm hmm Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... How many uh, Imperial encounters have been recorded with Necron pylons? <laughs> Fuck, so back in 2006, when that was the only four-droid model Necrons had. Yeah. Um, three. Seven. Oh. oh, of course, I forgot about the Kadrak 4 yeah. incursion. That's the one. Uh, what's the... Ooh, this, this you should know. What's the name given to the variant of the Vampire Raider which forgoes transport capacity in favor for increased armament? They just released a miniature for this. For Adeptus Oh, Air Space Imperial Aeronautica. Shit. Because this didn't exist in Epic. Because they had the Phoenix Bomber and the Vampire Raider. If it was an Epic unit, I'd remember it. Um... I don't know. The uh, what's an Eldari plane name? Uh, the Void Hunter. Oh, it's the Vampire Hunter. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Right <laughs> uh, what Tau vehicle is the larger version of the Barracuda fighter? Serves as a fighter bomber. Oh, um, the Tiger Shark. Hey! Hey! You did it! I've got two of those in Epic. Yeah, you do. Boom. Crack Hooray. yourself. Crack yourself. Open a layer. I there. got a layer. Crack yourself. Open a layer. <laughs> Hope it's another birthday onion. <gasps> Even better! What did you get? I've got party poppers. Huzzah! <laughs> Hooray! Is it wrong that I really like the smell of those? No, that's <gasps> fine. Double Milky Way! Wow! That's one for each onion! <laughs> that's fun to go with every <laughs> onion you have. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you for my Milky Way, Ronald. What a layer! Good job! God, I gotta clean all this fucking mess up. Yeah. <laughs> there is party poppers and wrapping paper fucking everywhere. <laughs> Um, you did. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like that. I love it. Thank you from software. Uh, from somewhere, obviously. Um, what, pre what question do I have to answer to open my present? Well, we're going to find you in the news section. Uh, okay, right. Here we go. What do you want? Famous battles? Ooh. I've not had that yet. I'm just worried if the answer's going to be all super fucking boring. Yeah, Garalax 9. That'll be one of them, for sure. They look kind of boring, but we can try a couple of these. Okay. Uh, the battle for Messina Hive took place on which world? Oh, uh, Armageddon. It's Bladen. Oh. Shit. Bladen. Bladen. What the f- <laughs> It's Bladen. Uh, <sighs> the... <laughs> I love how none of these answers ever have any context. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, which Orc War started on Gylus the second? Gylus two. Uh, uh Gazgul. No, it's Wag Gogard. Oh, Gogard. Okay, right. Gogard. We're gonna we're gonna go to something that will be more interesting. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we'll get to that one. We'll get to that one in a second. Uh I wanted to go to the Zinch section. I thought that'd be fun. Oh yeah. But Horus Heresy, old school Horus Heresy, oh, yeah. you'd be able to do that. So this these may not be no longer correct, because this book would have been written before the novels came out. So some of this stuff might got retconned. Uh, which Orc Warlord was beheaded by the Emperor himself during the battle in which over 100,000 Greenskins died for the loss of only three Custodian Guard? Oh, wow. What's the name of the Orc? I don't know. Grog, Gog, Gog, Nog. It's Garkle Blackfang. <laughs> right. 
Uh, which ancient sword is carried by Azriel, supreme... Oh, no, that's not... That's a... Gross. Sword of Secrets! Uh, no, I was, I'm doing Horus Heresy. <laughs> uh, on which day of the siege of the Imperial Palace did the Emperor teleport onto Horus' oh, battle bar? Oh, God, okay. On the 14th day of Secundus, the bombardment began. That's the classic opening line. How long did the siege last? I feel like it lasted like three months. So that would be... I don't know what three months after Secundus is. I don't know why I'm trying to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever May is in the Imperial calendar. <laughs> Quintus. On the 28th of Quintus. Uh, it's the 55th day. Oh. oh, that is like three months, though. Well, not really. That's like Three months is month like 60 days. I was five days off. No, three months. Uh, there's like 30 days in a month. Yeah, so 60. Three months. 60 days. That's two months, Ben. Oh, Ben. You're talking about 90. That. You're confusing. I'm uh, confusing 60 and 90. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at it upside down oh, okay. in my brain because I'm an idiot. I'm tired, all right? I've been up since 6 a.m. Wait, this is <laughs> why I'm getting my Warhammer wrong. I haven't had my present, and I'm cross. Uh, in the Horus Heresy collectible card game, how many flags is the Horus card oh. worth? Okay, so the Horus Heresy card game existed for like six months before it went out of. Um, <laughs> Like, that is a real old reference. You couldn't even buy it in the shops. Like, it was so short-lived. Um, how many flags? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Four. Uh, it was 11. <laughs> oh, of course. Fine. Um, okay, we'll, do, we'll go easier, then. We'll go back to the trooper section. <laughs> How many points are there on the Chaos Star? Come on. It's eight. But <laughs> come on. Come on. Right, do you want a veteran one? Uh, which was the first world in Ultramar to be invaded by High Fleet Leviathan? Oh. I don't know. McCrag did get invaded by High, High Fleet Leviathan, but it wasn't the first one. Mm. Um, Tyran. Tyran. Uh, I've got to find the answer I section. Did, that was the first world invaded by the Tyranids, but it might not have been in Ultramar. Really? Mm. Really? Really? Where is that? Uh, oh, no, it's... Um, What did I just ask you? Something about oh, number seven. High fleet. Sure. Seven. Sure. It was uh, Prandium. Prandium, of course. Which hive port was attacked by orc submersibles during the Third War of Armageddon? Oh my God. Um. Hell's Reach. Yes. Yay! It's Hell's Reach, man. You did it. Congratulations. Uh, you can open up a, a bit of your thing. Yay, present, present. You can do I can have do got present. a present. We must be getting to the ends now. Ronald has made many layers, Tom. I can see it's getting smaller, so. <laughs> it's getting smaller. It's a Kinder Bueno. Ooh. Delicious. Congratulations. Yeah, not every uh, layer is a winner in the. Uh... <laughs> so much chocolate, Tom. This is literally going to keep me in sweets for the next, like, six months. I'm sure the, bo the boy can the help The boy me. can help me. But thank you so much, DJ Monkey. Yeah. Um, that's another layer, Ben. Yay! We need, <laughs> we need some questions. Uh, right. Let's see. Let's see. Can you, can you answer a question? I can try. Um, okay, right. Uh, what is the title given to the world in the Eye of Terror, which is now home to the Thousand Sun Space Marine Legions and the City of Light? Planet of Sorcerers. Boom! Got it! <laughs> that was Yay! in the Lord's Light Militant section. Well done. Oh, man. Present, present. I can open presents. Good job. What did you get, Ben? 
think I just got party poppers this time. Does it just party <laughs> poppers? Just just you know, open, open a second one. <laughs> open another layer. Do you want to do a party popper? Sure. Ah. Actually, wait, no, I don't want to, because at the moment I've got plausible deniability on any tidying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as someone who made zero messes, you, uh, it's your birthday. Um, yeah, you can have another layer on that. If you get another question. Okay, hit me. What is the battle cry frequently uttered by the Thousand Sons in a ghostly whisper? All is dust. Wow. Yeah, man, you nailed it. Two for two. I know about the Thousand Sons. I like Jeez. my book nerds. Good stuff. Good boys. Present, 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 present. What is this? What is oh, this? Oh, my God. It's Jelly Baby! Nice! It's candies, man. You got some candies. Love it. I would open it, but I already have quite a lot of open candy already. What other open candy do you have? I'm, I want some of your candy, Ben. Oh, nice. Jellies. Yeah. Love that. Oh my god, I cannot even. Ronald, you are spoiling us! God, I didn't even bring a backpack in with me today. I'm gonna have to cycle home. What the heck? Without all my goodies. Oh, so oh, many that. goodies. Uh, Sunbro Smo. Dude, it's 45 bucks, Ben. Whoa! Thanks very Sunbro much. Smo, thank you very much. You say hi, Ben and Tom. Hello. Ben, if you need some help unwrapping those layers, just remember to praise. And the Sunbro will happily chug Sunny D while you fight the wrapping paper. Praise the Sunbro. Man. Praise the sun, bro. Okay, you ready for another another question? Yep. We can stay in um, Zinch. Apparently you're pretty good at Zinch. I like Zinch. He was okay. always my favorite Chaos God over the years. I'm leaning more to Nurgle these days, but for the longest time I was all Zinch all the time. Oh, yeah, they were well, the two, two coolest ones. Uh, wow. What does the Thousand Suns player receive after successfully pinning an unit, an enemy unit, with the Twisting Path power? Okay. So this would be like fourth or fifth edition? The Twisting Path. Yeah. What did the Twisting Path do in fourth or fifth edition? If you pin someone... Well, what was there that they could get? You know, you didn't have like command points <laughs> or um, like magic cards or... It, you didn't have any like resources to manage. Victory point? Some form of victory points? Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's 50 victory points. <laughs> <laughs> so, one is, isn't quite enough for me, Ben. Uh, yeah. Which demonic gift is conferred on Thousand Sun Space Marines, aside from aspiring champions and characters, by the mark of Zeech? Um, what they? I don't know what they're trying to. Which say. demonic gift is conferred on Thousand Sun Space Marines aside from aspiring champions and characters by the Markham's each? Which demonic gift? Come on, Ben. It's, well, it's, it's a psychic one because it's not doesn't go on to champions, so it must be for sorcerers. Um, the. The thing, the wizard power, whatever the wizard power was called in that version of mm. um, demonic, some kind of demonic thing. Demonic essence. Yeah, it's demonic <laughs> essence. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Crack yourself open the layer then. Yay! <gasps> As I slowly... Ooh, toys! Toy! <laughs> <laughs> now, but now doesn't want an ungrateful Ben. <laughs> you can't be ungrateful, Ben. No, I would never be ungrateful for a present. Because all presents are lovely. It's the <laughs> if you ignore the thought, the thought doesn't count. 
the effort counts in this instance. <laughs> because the effort is delightful. The thought is mean. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Renault has given me the, the Space Marine Mario Kart buggy. Wow! <laughs> you could use that in your Space Marine army. I could. I could put it in my Dark Angels army. I can paint it black and put the Ravenwing things on the side. Man, if he didn't build and paint that... What kind of a fucking asshole would he be <laughs> if he didn't build and paint that sometime soon? Just, it's just the best model, isn't it? it what, of all the Space Marine models, who wouldn't want to go, Meep, meep, I'm a Mario Kart! <laughs> I could do a speed run with it. Mm -hmm. That's what all the cool yogs are doing these days, is they're speed running Mario Karts. And now Damn. I can do it too. That's so cool. That is such a thoughtful gift. <gasps> this one's easy to build as well. It's push fit, no glue. <gasps> That's even better. Even better. I mean, if even anything, that means I should get it built and painted even sooner. <laughs> even less excuses not to have it built and painted. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. What oh, a thoughtful gift. I could do a stream. I could do a painting, a Mario Kart speed run paint stream where I put the timer on and I have to like un uh, open and glue and paint the mm -hmm. whole model in less than two hours. <laughs> I like that. I'm into that. You need to get a belt. I think for that to happen, though, I probably need to... I can't just do that on my own. I have to be competing with someone for that to be... Yeah, jump like, on their leaderboard. They'll probably let you in. <laughs> it's close enough. It's close enough, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Ronald. Lovely models. Wow. I've got some, some really cool models. And this one, too. <laughs> what are you so like, cool. What you, thank you, you Ronald. <laughs> why do you say it like that? But only someone really ungrateful wouldn't build that and put that in their army that they definitely could use it in. Yeah, I could put it in my cabinet next to all the other models I love. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool. It's really cool. Thank you, Renault. Wow. Man, and that there are more layers still left in your your thing? There are more layers. I think there's at least two. Maybe more. Wow. My god. It's, we're running out of time. We are running out Can of I time. Open more layers. Uh, you know what? I think Renault will treat you to one more layer. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Renault. If uh, if that's what you fancy, um, I was like, just eat eat your sweets. <laughs> <laughs> they're just hungry and they're not filling me up, and so I'm just consuming. Do you want Jaffa cakes instead? They're a little bit more filling. No, no, I'm okay. I need to, but you can take these back, because otherwise I will just sit and fucking gobble them all. <laughs> um, mm. Okay. Do you have another question to have another another thing? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, question me up. Some of these questions are good. Okay. Ah, oh, well, this, this is... Okay, we're moving down to the Commissar section. Uh, who currently re wields the Axe of Morkai? Ooh. I know. the. I've heard of the Axe of Morkai. That is a thing. Who has it? You will know this. It's a space wolf, right? Or or a chaos warrior. God, why can't I remember if it's a chaos warrior or a space wolf? Because the space wolves basically are fucking heretics. <laughs> they are. They're so fucking, so fucking deviant. Yeah. Um. But they're not virgins, Ben. No, they're sad fucks. They're not virgins. They have sex. <laughs> um, is it Logan Grimnar who rides Santa's sleigh? Sadly, it's the Great Wolf, Logan Grimnar. Oh, sorry. Should so, I use it? Lord of Fenris and the Space... Do I need to do the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Game of Thrones titles? <laughs> uh, okay. What type of weapon does damage through sub-molecular thermal agitation? Melter gun. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Boom! Get, your, get yourself a layer, then. You can crack crack one open. Present. Present. 
<gasps> Yay! Ronald is with me! Whoa! A third <laughs> onion! Triple birthday Three onion! Three birthday <laughs> onions! I must have been such a good boy wow. this year. Wow. Ronald. <laughs> oh, he... God, like, you've been so good this year. I was hoping. I was Think hoping. Of all the things you could do with I, three birthday I onions. I dared not believe <laughs> I could have three birthday onions. Wow. That's so <laughs> many onions. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, the whole family's eating tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, your partner, and the boy. <laughs> yeah. Look, family, I brought us dinner. <laughs> An onion for each of you. Wow, it's gonna man, it's a great it's a great day. It's a great day. I'm gonna peel one of these bad boys right now. What? No, you've gotta save it. Take them home. Those are good onions. Those are good They're real great onions. onions. I know, that's why I want one right now. You don't you're, you're gonna waste that onion. <laughs> waste these are, they're delicious good onions, Ben. You can tell they're good onions. They're not rotten. <laughs> oh, so fresh. So hairy. Onions are fucking weird plants when you actually look at them and think about them, right? Yeah, no, kind of nothing else is really like these things. No, but man, onions, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, would you like another layer of your prize? Yes, please! Okay, do you want a, do you want a question to go with it? Yeah. I've got to earn my treat. All right, what is... Um, uh... Wow, this is in the in the second hardest section of the book. <laughs> right. What is the sacred number of Nurgle? Six. No, seven. <gasps> seven. Seven. Slanesh is six. Um, seven. Okay. Seven. Okay, right. Does need to be in the second hardest section. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, right. So it turns out pretty difficult. Pretty, pretty difficult question. What's well, the second hardest section, Tom? I can't get them all right. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did I say six? Um... Ooh. Uh, which close combat special ability can be gained by models with the mark of Nurgle if they're armed in a certain manner? That's a really it's very specific, so awkward way to word that. So, in like fourth or fifth edition, you arm your Nurgle troops with certain weapons, and they get a special rule. Yeah. I can't remember the names. The only special rule I can remember from that era is Furious Charge. But that doesn't feel like something Nurgle would get. Poison attacks? Ooh. Feels like something Nurgle would get. What if I tell you what the ability does? Oh, okay. Because I had a Nurgle army in this edition. Ooh. Um, it allows your Plague Marines mm -hmm. to wield their bolt guns. Like oh, true grit. Boom, true grit. Feel, you field your bolt guns as if they were bolt pistols. Yeah, when you're in combat. <laughs> Uh, because they carry them in one hand because they're fucking badasses. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can uh, open the layer. Layer on your thing. Layer. Despite layer. getting the wrong chaos number. <laughs> what the heck? Um, true grip. Man. True grip. Oh. Present. Present. Here's a present. Oh. <gasps> It's the best present of all. It's the present everyone can share. Oh my god. Ronald has sent a law hammer or your hammer. What? Ronald also seems to like drawing dicks <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald was decorating. He was doing it for his audience, Ben, which was you. Um, so, the law hammer today is Stinky Guard or the third Ian Watson poop reference. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know, Lawhammer or Your Hammer is a game where Tom has two tales of Warhammer lore, one of which is 100% accurate lore, the other is made up nonsense. Mm -hmm. But which is which? Let's minimize chat. Minimize chat. Finally, we've got a poop hammer. It's been a, been a long time. So, um, are you familiar with the Imperial Guard Regiment, mm. the Miasma Red Cowls? No. Um, also known by their nickname as the Fire Skunks. <laughs> Perfect. The uh, Fire Skunks mm. are an infamously s the stinkiest legion of Imperial <laughs> Guardsmen that a lot of guard refuse to fight alongside <laughs> because they smell so bad. Uh, wow. Why do they smell so bad? Uh, they're just fucking stinky boys. The stinky boys. Sure. 
Stinky boys. Stinky boys. Okay, the fire skunks. Cool. What else you got? <laughs> or is there a third reference to eating shit in what? Ian Watson's Space Marine, a book you have read? <laughs> so hang on, let me remember the first two. The first one was... Oh, no, well, hang on. Of the two poop references we have, only one of them is eating shit, right? Okay, right. The first one is you, you ceremoniously take, take a shit. Yeah, you absolve... The chaplain absolves the brothers of their sins by absorb by hearing their sin and then shitting it he out. Sits, he sits it out. And then the initiates, one of their indoctrination rites is they have to eat mm -hmm. the shit of another marine and then they shit that shit out and yeah. then someone else eats that yeah. shit. So, you know, presumably someone once ate Rogel Dawn's shit, I guess. Yeah. And it's been passed on ever since. And everyone keeps pooping out the little shit balls <laughs> that they keep in, like, containers and have this weird marble game with. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe there's a third one. So, is there a third one mm -hmm. where uh, well, your, your main boy, Jeff Space Marine. Yeah. Um, Captain Leandros. Robert Imperial oh, no, it's Fist. Not, it's not Leandros. He's Le <clears throat> He's something being with an L. Might be Leandros. It's not important. Uh, so they're fighting near a broken sewer, and he gets spattered by the bitter tasting filth, um, and it goes in his mouth, but because he's a space marine, he doesn't mind the taste. <laughs> and also, he's used to eating shit. He's used to <laughs> eating shit. But has Ian Watson slipped in a third uh, oh, shit, oh. shit story? into the oh, fuck. hit book Space Marine, which you have read. I have read, but I've, I've got them wrong every time. <laughs> you I have got them wrong. I read them, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah, you did not um, uh, believe the others. So there can't be a third one. There can't be a third one. He wouldn't say Surely. a Space Marine wouldn't get shit in his mouth and not mind the bitter taste. I don't remember fighting in a sewer. I remember fighting in a tunnel with an amble. I remember going into a Tyranid hive ship. It could be Tyranid poop. That's the thing. Bitter tasting filth. Mmm. There can't be a fucking... No, maybe there is. Because everything he writes is just insane and deprived. Maybe it works. He does like poo-poo. He loves the poo-poo. Oh. But is it more believable than Stinky Guard? Stinky Guard sounds... The Fire Skunks. Fire Skunks. There is like a book that has like a thousand fucking Imperial Guard Regiment color schemes in it. And I could totally imagine that being like a throwaway line. The Fire Skunks. Skunk smell, right? <laughs> so why not? That sounds more believable. But, so my gut tells me the poo is a lie and the Fire Skunks are real. But my gut's been full of shit all evening. <laughs> I got them, the last two on the row I've been wrong on. They can't be a third. They can't be. It's too meta. You can't have found another poop, poop lore. I'm sticking to my guns, despite always being wrong. I'm going to say the fire skunks are real. And there is no more Imperial, Imperial Fist poo. You sure? I'm sure. You're right, Ben! Yay! There's no, one no, right. there's no more poo. <laughs> no matter how much you dig through that book, <laughs> there's no more poop stories. We only, he got two in there, oh. but no more poo. Um, yeah, the Miasma Red Cowls are also known as the Fire Skunks. Other guards' regiments refuse to fight alongside I them. I want to see if there's a picture because of them. Because they stink. Um, uh, yeah, they look like... Um, they're kind of cool. They look a bit like uh, Adnek. Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. They're kind of cool. Boom. Do they all wear the gas mask because they're so stinky? They don't want to stink. They wear that. Uh, it's because they use like um, weird flamethrowers that are powered by stinky gas or something. Oh, okay. They've There's got like, like off-brand Promethium. Yeah, but it's meant to be better than regular Promethium, but it stinks. And that's why <laughs> the Imperium doesn't use it. <laughs> right. So I think maybe this is the last layer. Well, there's a bulge, so I'm worried that there's actually a... Another peak. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I think there's two layers. <laughs> Just rip them both off. Just rip go. it open there. Do, 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 do. More party poppers. This is more party poppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're at the center. So you can see, like, the. Do you remember where we were? The giant bulge is like. It was like this big to start with. And the, the <laughs> wrapping got worse and worse and worse as was just having to, uh, Ronald was having to just smash the on. Oh my god. Is um, it? Imagine how good it would be if there was a fucking fourth onion in there. <laughs> just a little shallot. <laughs> oh, it'd be so good. It'd be so fucking good. Oh. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 It's a little box. I had to open this box, Ben. Little box. It's a, spe a very special treat for a very special boy. Oh. It's a miniature. There's a miniature, Ben. It's already built and painted. There's a painted and built miniature, Ben. <gasps> Aha! It's a, a built-in min painted miniature, I ben. love him. It's... A classic colour scheme, Gene Stealer Patriarch on Throne. Wow. My favourite kind of Gene Stealer. Oh my god, but don't you have a Gene Stealer <laughs> army, bro? I do have a Gene Stealer army. He can roll my dice, and I he got. Can be a, a sit on a throne and be a patriarch? What the <laughs> hell? He can be my Whoa. Tom Triarch. And I can have a little Ben next to it, Ma Magus. So Whoa. this is um, our yeah. patriarch. So um, what they did was, obviously, he's a big gene stealer, and this was the first one that ever came out. And then they brought out a second one, which was him this just like sat on a throne looking like a, so a good. badass. Oh, man, this, um, like, this little goon was it? like, tee -hee, <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> they always loved this model, but they went out of production not that long after they brought it out and I never got hold of one of these yeah it's not like uh, wasn't super around for a long time and they go for an absolute fortune on eBay um, but then someone um, made like a 3D here, here image there he is oh no that's not him that's a conversion oh it's like um, that uh, it's the just do a search it's like the gomlek uh, Uh, there he is. Here. Yeah. Bam. This is the model. Yeah, it's that one. But but painted real nice. Can't really see the detail on the camera. Boom. Oh, ah. that's super cool. Wow. He's so happy. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, Ronald. Did all the things. What a good boy. Oh, thank you, chat, for helping me open my present. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. So many toys. So many sweets. So many toys. So many onions. <laughs> so many onions. <laughs> <laughs> Boom.